please subscribing <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Miss Snowy Hong. And this is Mr. Hong. And we are going to, what are we doing today? We're gonna make some kombucha. Yeah, we're gonna make some kombucha and we'll take you guys along with us. If you guys are ready for the ride. Yep. Let's get into it. Let's make some booch. <laughs> So today we're gonna to be making some booch, 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 or also known as kombucha. So the main thing about kombucha is made from um, simple ingredients. First, you need some tea, uh, especially black tea, since the scoby or the uh, live colony of bacteria and yeast feed on um, the caffeine in the tea. So black tea is a good choice. We have a measuring cup here. It's just two cup measuring cup so that we're gonna measure water with it and also our sugar. Speaking of the next ingredient, that's our sugar right here. Um, this is just processed white sugar, anything that bacteria and yeast can easily digest. So I would actually recommend white processed sugar as it's the simplest. You can always use brown sugar, but the simpler the better. So in this case, this is one of the few times where you want to use white sugar. Then we want a pot to boil some water and make our sweet tea. Essentially, that's the food that the SCOBY is going to eat. And in the back right here, um, I already have a SCOBY since I've uh, been making kombucha for a couple months now because I thought it'd be fun. And so in the back container, we have a large jar with some kombucha, leftover kombucha, and a SCOBY sitting in it and it's eaten and it's growing. And I had this in there since two weeks ago because of a little accident that happened but uh we'll talk more about that later using my handy dandy measuring cup so the ratio that we're looking at is we need about 14 cups of water and so i would have to do this seven times so help me keep count So here we're gonna measure out one cup of sugar. Don't worry, you're not eating all that sugar, but the bacteria and the yeast are, so don't worry about it. Let's go over and open our tea bags. So here we have eight tea bags. We're gonna open them uh, all. So let's do this. Here we go. So we have eight uh, black tea bags. So a really simple thing that I saw and I'm gonna adopt too is they just tie this all together so that it just stays in one place so you don't have to um, scoop them out one by one. So there you go, they're all tied up so you can just have one point where you can just pick it all up and then steep them. So let's go over. When you first make your SCOBY, but uh, for now, I'm just here to replenish my kombucha container since I recently filled up my canning bottles uh, with the kombucha just in time for Mother's Day. 
And so I'm hoping to give a ball out to my mom because uh, she says she likes it. So uh, let's let's do it. I'm just gonna put my eight tea bags right into the water. I'm gonna try to soak it so that it helps stay. There we go. And then I'm just gonna leave this on the side here so that I can pick it up easily later. What are you doing? Oh no, it accidentally uh, burned. Don't let that go into the tea. I think it'll be fine. But, um, let me... Oh my gosh. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if uh, we can salvage this. What are you doing? Prime temperature that you want to hit is somewhere around 75 to 85 degrees, which is why um, spring and summer when the indoor temperature is around 75 to 85 is a great time to um, start making kombucha. Uh, during the winter, it's a little too cold, so it won't be as fast. Uh, the fermentation process will be a little slower. Um, so you want to take all of those things into account. So while we wait, here's my SCOBY. So let's open this guy up. Ta-da! So this kombucha. Ooh, smells. Um, so you can see my original kombucha uh, SCOBY was here, and I started in a smaller uh, mason jar. So you know, it's a little thicker in this area, and then I transplanted that to this larger container here. And then you can tell the, the new SCOBY has been forming, and there's little pockets of air here and there. Uh, ooh, still kind of thin, but uh, here we go. Ooh. So mine kind of looks like this. This is a, a really good example of a healthy SCOBY. Um, it's pretty rectangular, it's pretty thin still, so it's still translucent. But as it gets thicker and layers and layers add on, it'll take on more of this, this white uh, color. And uh, on the other side, you can kind of see that the yeast and um, other probiotic colonies have been forming and being hard at work. So this is all good, good news, good things to see. If you keep on moving it around and, and playing with it and trying to see um, what it looks like and how it's coming along you're actually you actually won't have a, a scoby that looks this nice this is actually a really nice looking uh, scoby that's my scoby right there snowy snowy honestly not the time for this okay <laughs> snowy you tired you tired today why are you tired Hmm? No, don't come. No. Ah, stretch. He's so cute. No, oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Look at you. All right. So while we waited, I moved everything so that we're ready to go. We have our kombucha container right here. We have our cooled down sweet black tea. And you can see the temperature hits around 82 degrees. And so it looks like uh, we're at prime temp so we can transfer it over. Um, I have a cup here or my measuring cup to move the tea bag over. And then I have a auto siphon that I bought. We, I got this for maybe 14 to $18 on Amazon. Uh, so if you have anything like this, it's really cool. I'm gonna show you right now how it works, but before that, I'm gonna take out the tea bags since we don't have any more need for that. I'm gonna take out the thermometer. It's just getting away. And then I'm going to open our kombucha. There we go. And now what you wanna do is you wanna put the intake of the siphon into your sweet tea or your pot in this case and then you want to put the end piece or the output directly into the side of your kombucha container so with that 
you can see that the the tea is beginning to flow through and we have a pressure differential and so from there all you need to do is just hold it and it'll automatically drain the fluid from your high point to your low point so while it's doing that i'm not pumping anymore you can tell it's just feeding the the tea through And there we go, that's the entire pot. Well, that's a pretty nifty tool. If you guys don't have it, it definitely helps. But if you don't uh, want to buy it, you can always just use a, a small pipe and do the traditional siphoning method. But with that, we're just going to empty out the tube, make sure to drain all of the fluid. And my SCOBY is a little messed up, but that's fine. We can sort them out later. And then with that, we're done. Just gonna put this cover over it uh, so we don't have any other uh, bugs or things flying in and that's it oh thank you for watching and we'll be back with good kombucha bye bye, bye. Shh.